So a lot of you have been reaching out to me, you know, asking the same question just in different ways. Ultimately, it boils down to what's the best way to market my product or what's the best way to market my business? You know, and this is not a one size fit all thing. So, I, you know, I'll go over just some general thoughts of mine, but you know, each business is different. Each product is different. So just bear with me. So with that being said, you know, this is not just a problem that applies to, you know, small business, startups. It also applies to, to the big boys out there, to the multi-billion dollar companies. You know, so many of, of these companies, they miss the mark. You know, when, when they sit down and they go into the boardrooms and they come up with these marketing strategies and, and execution plans, you know, they miss the mark because of one simple reason. And this is something that if you're a small business, you really have to pay attention to right here. First, guys, first, you have to know who is my target consumer? Who am I looking to buy my product? Who does my business, who do we service? You know, is it an affluent customer? Is it is it the working class? Are you looking for people in the inner cities, the suburbs? Is it multicultural, general market? There's so many things to consider. And so many companies, so many marketing execs, they don't stop and think. They, they're so invested in the product itself that they're not taking that extra step and just being a consumer for a second and really trying to understand, number one, who is my consumer? What are my consumer habits? How do I reach my consumer? And there's many ways to go about this, right? You have traditional marketing, which is television, radio, outdoor advertising. Maybe your budget doesn't call for that. Maybe you're a small business. Maybe you want to try grassroots marketing, guerrilla marketing, alternative marketing, hitting people where they work, live, play, you know, getting your street teams out there, your brand ambassadors at, at events, maybe that will work for you. Or maybe, you know, let's just say most of the population, especially the millennial population, they're on their cell phones all day, every day. So maybe digital marketing is the way to go. But you have to narrow and zone in, first and foremost, who is my consumer? Who is going to buy this product? Who is it that I'm trying to reach that would require my company's service? That has to be your starting point. If you can't answer that question effectively, there is no um, effective marketing plan that you can even ever hope to have. Then some of you guys are asking me about celebrity endorsers. Is this the proper way to go? Possibly. It depends. But here's a mistake that so many companies make. They're not, you know, and guys, understand, you really have to know your product, whatever that product or whatever that service might be. And then you have to go and you have to identify a celebrity endorser that really lives and represents the core values of your product. Case in point, vitamin water. They went, they did a deal with 50 Cent, marriage made in heaven. 50 Cent, since the time he's come out, he's always been into fitness. He's always been into wellness, taking care of his body, exercising. That's a natural thing. You know, it's just a natural fit. So him having a bottle of, of vitamin water makes absolute sense. Fast forward a few years later, vitamin water sells for hundreds of millions of dollars. Why? Because... It was a great fit. It wasn't forced. It didn't feel coerced. It didn't feel like, oh, we just went out and got some celebrity endorser because we had the money to pay for one. Same thing. You can think, you know, Kanye West, you know, his deal with Adidas and Yeezys, it, 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 it makes sense. Kanye West, since the day he's come out, he's always been rapping about the same thing. Fashion, fashion, fashion. In his off time, he's in Paris. He's in New York at Fashion Week. You know, this is something that he obviously has an affinity for, whether he has his own brand or not. So he does this deal with Adidas. 
comes out with the Yeezys and they fly off the shelves. It, you know, it wasn't a stretch for Kanye West, of all people, to get into apparel. Just made sense. So guys, before you spend your money, really take time and think about what celebrity endorser naturally, organically, authentically represents my brand. Then others of you have been hit me about, you know, okay, I want to do more of the digital uh, marketing and, and, and really try to hire some of these celebrity influencers um, that have tons of, of followers, millions and millions of followers. That's great. But I'd say the same thing that I just said about celebrity endorsers. Do these people, because, just because somebody has millions and millions of followers, if they naturally don't represent what it is that you're trying to sell, you are pissing money away. You might as well just send the money to me because it, it, it's going to have the same effect, which is no effect. Really think you can't just follow trends for the sake of, follow, of following trends. It has to make sense for your brand. It has to make sense for your service. And if you do this, this is the starting place. And you build from it. Once you narrow down who is, who's my consumer base? Who am I trying to reach? Who will buy my product? And if you know that, and, and, and not just think you know it, but know that you know who you're going after. That's the nucleus. Then you can go from there, reach out, figure out, hey, you know, what form of marketing do I want to do? You know, does my, does my consumer, are, are they baby boomers? Are they still reading newspapers? Are they millennials? Are they on their phones all day, every day? You know, are they Gen Xers? Are they still watching TV and listening to terrestrial radio? All of these factors have to come into play before you spend one dollar from your marketing budget. Hope this helped, guys. Something for you guys to think about. That's Marketing 101. We'll do another video in the near future. Peace and love, and I'll see you guys on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.